Hi everyone, today we're going to be going to the Meralco Power Lab but before we go there I'm going to stop by here at Starbucks and get a coffee. Now if you're not interested in seeing this intro stuff you can skip to this point here just to see the section on Meralco Power Lab. So first let's get a coffee. So I just got my coffee frab now and I realize I'm actually running out of time because I have to be at the Power Lab in around 35 minutes. It's not too far though because this is Corinthians and then Meralco is just like down there basically so it's not too far from here. I could walk although I'm not sure if I will because it's so hot I don't mind walking but the time but by the time you get there you look like you've taken a shower because you're so wet anyway I figured I'll just show you what's in my bag and what I have to prepare for this tour sorry I'm looking up at the screen instead of down at the lens so let me show you so of course I have my cell phone but let's start with this big bag here now this is my tripod and main camera let me bring this out so you can see this is my big Canon camera and I've got the tripod which is obviously collapsed right now. I'm not even sure if I'll use that but I like to take it just in case. The battery lasts for like hours and hours and it's just very reliable and it is the best camera I've got. So I've got that. Now let's look at my backpack. So of course I've got my little USB handy fan. This is very very useful especially on hot days which is like pretty much every day. Um, then in here I've got my iPad. I was meaning to bring my laptop although I don't really need it so I'm glad I just have my um, iPad. I have a pen here which is pretty basic. Um, what else have we got in here? A little tripod stand. This is um, to hold your cell phone and you can connect it to a tripod. Very useful if you're doing like time lapses and stuff like that. Inside here I've got a little action camera that I'm planning to review soon. Let me get it out and show you. So although this says 4K on it, it's not really 4K, but it does do an OK 1080, so I'm going to make a video about that soon. Um, I brought it with me just in case I have time to shoot some sample footage, although I've only got one micro SD card and that's in my microphone. So yeah, I don't know, I keep losing my micro SD cards. Let's see what else we've got. Here is my main electronics pouch. Let me open this up and show you. So here we've got a couple of lavalier microphones, we've got an SSD hard drive, some spare batteries for my camera, a little selfie light which can be used for a lot of things actually, and then just some miscellaneous cables, wires, oh and a Flow One thermal camera. So what else do we have in here? We have a power bank because of course I can't go anywhere without a power bank. This is another RAV power one that I'm going to be reviewing soon. Um, let me show you what it looks like. This one's a bit unusual because it's like a classic 10,000 milliamp hour power bank except that this one is 16,750. So this is a bit of a beast. Um, watch out for a review of that coming soon. And then in the bottom of the bag, I just have something that I'm hoping to test today at Meralco. So this is just a watt meter that plugs into the wall, but I'm hoping I can test it at Meralco Power Lab to compare it against theirs. Now theirs is obviously going to be much more accurate, but I want to see just how accurate my one is in comparison to theirs. And I also bought this bulb holder because I know they're using bulbs or lamps in the Power Lab to test power. Um, so if they say like, oh, as is hardwired in or something, I can say, well, don't worry, I've got my own. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that's in my bag. Let me just check the front pouch. Okay, so here I've got a multi-charge cable for different devices and then I've got my Zoom H1 microphone which I plug a lavalier microphone into. So I think that's everything. Now like I said I have to actually be at Meralco soon so I better drink my coffee and then get going there. So I just got dropped off now. This is the power lab behind me and this is their charging station. Now I'm not sure but I'm guessing that that is the Tesla of MVP because he's the only one that I know that has one here in the Philippines. So yeah and look that is a Tesla charger so maybe underneath that is his car. Anyway, I'm going to go and find the person I've been speaking to. They've got a lot of extra security there at the gate, I guess because, you know, what happened to Resorts World and everything else that's going on. So yeah, two checkpoints. Um, yeah, luckily no one's come to ask me why I'm shooting video though. So let's go find someone. So I'm inside the Power Lab now and this is the manager of Power Lab, which is Alfred. Hello, Alfred. Can I wave? Yeah. Yes, go <laughs> okay. ahead. So where are we going to start? With the demo area? With the demo area. Yeah. Okay, so just to give you an idea of what this place looks like, you can see behind me they've got a whole bunch of demo stuff and then in here is where they do all their testing and that's really technical so we're going to have fun in there but first let's have a look at the demo area. So what's the point of this demo area? What's the idea behind this? Actually, uh, this area was designed to really cater for our customers. So we actually accept uh, visitors here. The Power Lab is open, open okay. for all uh, for all our customers and the general public. And the general okay. public. And basically here, uh, sometimes we set up here like a classroom setup for, for okay. our customers. And then okay. basically we have here uh, comparisons, okay. technology comparisons. Like for example, we compare different technologies. Like for televisions, we have LED, we have plasma, 
and then over there we have refrigerators okay so and it's really more about the technology and not the brand right? yeah yeah not the so brand. for instance it's led versus, versus crt crt versus crt it's not versus sony plasma. versus no, panasonic it's not, it's, it's, not. it's the technology yeah. and for this one we have for the same uh, capacity okay uh, we have an inverter and a conventional okay, okay. And, uh, so I'm guessing this one is the inverter because yes. it's the lower power usage. Correct. Can correct. you tell us about these orange tags? Because I've seen these everywhere and maybe you can tell us a little bit about how, it, yeah. how it works. So these are easy to understand labels that uh, uh, we put on the appliances. So it's basically showing the estimated operating cost of the appliance. So in terms of pesos already. So that's why it's easier to understand for our So customers. it's great for res uh, residential users, but I mean customers in general, because they can go into a mall or a shopping appliance place, they can see these tags and straight away they know, and they okay, have an maybe idea. they cost the same price to buy, but how much is it going to cost me to yes. run? Actually, that's always the question. How much will it impact my budget? So with the orange tag, we can really show, uh, to give them an idea how much it would affect their budget. Because sometimes you think you're getting a really good deal, right? And then you find out that the reason why it's so cheap <laughs> is this old technology. Yeah. And it's going to cost you so much extra in electricity. Right, right. I mean, this here is a fairly big difference. I mean, 9.3 pesos. Is that per, um, this is per, day. per day, right? Okay. Yeah. Versus so for, 15 yeah. pesos. Okay. So for orange tags, we, uh, depending on the appliance. So we show, for example, for reps, it's estimated cost per day. Okay. For most of appliances like aircon, uh, televisions we show cost per hour okay and then for example in the case of washing machines over here okay. so it's cost per wash per wash okay that's wash. much more useful right yes because so it's it a one cycle of wash spin sense. spin dry etc okay yeah but this okay. is not a compulsory thing right this is something yes. that manufacturers or yes. the brands it's a voluntary have to come program to you. it's a voluntary program and how has the uptake been have you had a lot of brands that come on board and oh, yes. sign up for this yeah. when, when we started in 2015 actually we had around 22 brand partners okay. for the orange tag okay that's and, excellent uh, yeah so when you go to the appliance stores you see the, the you can see them there, there already and the, the feedback's very positive but it must take you a lot of time right because every single product we has to come it. through here and be tested yeah it has to be tested here okay yeah. so can you show us some of the stuff that you've got on the wall here? In fact, okay. can you tell us about this? Because I noticed you've got uh, an inverter, which yeah. is solar, right? Okay, so part of this demo area is also, we are uh, studying here uh, technologies like uh, solar panels and energy storage. Okay. So this one is, we have a setup of a residential scale uh, solar. Actually, this is just uh, a mock-up of the solar panels, but right. it's on the roof. On the okay. roof. And we have here an inverter and a, a battery. Ah, so this is this, this is, is battery. lithium. Yeah, lithium-ion battery. Uh, I was gonna say it's too small for lead acid. <laughs> yeah. So this is, I mean, it's from LG, obviously, but somewhat yeah. similar to the Powerwall from Tesla. Yeah. That's also a, a oh, yeah. lithium-based. Okay. Do you know what this is? Eighteen six fifty cells inside, or uh, not sure. Not sure, but this is a twelve point eight kilowatt hour uh, wow. battery. Can I take that with me or? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like that. Okay. So, what's so here the... we, we are trying to study the technology yeah. in terms of how it will impact the, the grid or the electricity network. And at the same time, how it will benefit the customers. And so it, it's really an uh, education for both the utility and the customers. That's true. And yeah. I think it's helpful because more customers want to install solar. Yeah. And you as Maralpo need to understand it as well as the customer, right? Yeah. Especially with um, yep, the net metering, right? Where yes. people are feeding it back in. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's nice. So what's the solar panels on the roof? Do you know how many and the total wattage? Uh, it's uh, six kilowatts. Six kilowatts. But right now we're, so this is live, right? Yeah, this is live. So you're generating around 2237 watts. Uh, the yield today, okay, that's good. Monthly yield, yearly yeah. yield. And how long has this been installed? Uh, come again, sorry. How long has this been installed on the roof? Uh, like one year or six oh, months? It's, it's a long study. That's a long study. Yeah. So it's been here for a long, long time. Yeah, yeah. Actually, okay. we commissioned this uh, around the uh, third quarter last year. Okay. So the study is still ongoing. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. And then we've got the TVs here. Yeah, we have uh, different technologies for television here. So we have LED. We compare it with, oh, sorry, the, the CRT is off now. <laughs> but uh, we also have a plasma. And then over there is a dashboard where we show the uh, real-time consumption of these appliances. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So we highlight the peso value. Yeah. Because uh, for uh, ordinary customers, they don't understand kilowatt. They don't no, understand right. kilowatt hour. Yeah. So what, what's really sense. yeah, 
That's really peso. important to them is the peso value. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay, and over here is the lights. Okay, now, what switch. I can't believe is that some people are still using and selling incandescent, even True. though they're so wasteful. Because it's so cheap. Yeah, cheap <laughs> yeah. to buy, but cheap, yeah. they're expensive True. to run. True, true. And it only lasts. That's another thing, they break months. so easily. Break so easily compared to CFL and, of course, LED is the best option. LED, yeah. yeah. So we've got the incandescent bulb here. These are the ones which is obviously very old. If you yeah, touch it, it's going to burn very hot. Very hot. <laughs> And you, you're looking at like an estimated 61 so centavos per hour. Per hour. And then 15. Versus the CFL 15. So for, for the same lighting output, so yeah. in terms of lumens, so you get 61 here, 15, and just 9 centavos here. Okay, excellent. Okay, so here, testing yeah, let's area. Let's take a look let's at the testing here. area.